Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot, here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021. I don't know what happened, but for some odd reason, the, the video file got, I don't know, it just, it somehow loaded or posted the 21st of June instead of June 22nd, so it was kind of messed up. So what we're going to do is, because I don't want to ignore the energy basically what was coming up for june 22nd was that your person was basically stressing the f out and trying to figure out how to have a new beginning with you after you know basically guilt you know they're guilty their betrayal every anything that they did to you scorpio your specific person so what i'm going to do um i'm going to take the numbers that had come up for the first recording, uh, which was 1013, which brought us to the number 14. Okay, so Wheel of Fortune card could show up, the Magician card through the power of number one, the Empress card through the power of number three, Temperance could show up through the power of number 14, and with the number four out of the 14, uh, the Emperor card. So we could see some of those cards kick in. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the roll of the dice. Uh, that had come up for the first recording, we're going to try to move that energy forward again, okay, and just see what is coming up in proximity here, just so that I can keep uh, moving forward with readings for the channel, so I'm not going to do that, okay. Sorry about that, you guys. It was kind of strange why that happened. I don't know. All right. Calling upon our trusted ancestors to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. <clears throat> Trusted ancestors, for my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, to show me the energy for Tuesday, June 22nd, 2021, please, and beyond that time frame up to this current date in time, which is July 5th, 2021. What does Scorpio need to know about their person right now, please? Okay. They could be in an obsessive compulsive behavior towards you. Okay. Now what was interesting when I went to go rec record the first time for June 22nd. Okay. Uh, it was the main focal point of energy was the nine of swords. So somebody was all up in their head. Okay. Now the devil card coming in to kind of push this forward, you know, this energy forward again, uh, with the devil card, some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, straight up, okay? With the devil energy, this person could be exuding, you know, fear-based thoughts. They could be all up in their ego. Um, they could feel, you know, some form of an addiction towards you. They could be, you know, sometimes, well, well there goes Toto. She's starting to bark again. Hey, that's enough. That's enough. Um, with the devil activity, <clears throat> Somebody cannot let go of you or somebody could be trying to be controlling and manipulating and is basically, you know, off of ego. But I feel that this is more, this is more guilt ridden, to be honest with you. I think there's fear. I think your person has a lot of fear, Scorpio. <clears throat> trusted ancestors why is the devil card here in regards to scorpio's person what do they need to know oh yeah they're obsessing over reconciliation of coming together <sighs> yeah because when i went to do the first recording it was all about your person um basically the five of cups had come up in this position when i went to go record the first time and it was about guilt remorse regret and Traditionally speaking, in the Five of Cups, on the imagery of the card, that person's crying over three cups, right? And 
right behind that person is the two of cups so here we go two of cups this person is obsessing over reconciliation with you <clears throat> to reconcile okay trusted ancestors why is the devil card here in regards to scorpio's person yeah they're also sexually addicted to you scorpio they love your touch they love your embrace they are wanting to have a new beginning here they are feeling very compelled they're in their ego you know some of your um some of your partners uh scorpio are very charming <laughs> i have to admit very very charming now on the bottom of the deck before i shuffle again the ten of swords backstabbing and betrayal now in the title of the first video for June 22nd in in the title itself of the video it was about being guilty for how you know pretty much how they treated you Scorpio they backstabbed and betrayed you in some way shape or form and it could have been also negative influences that were in and around this person and it could still be that there are negative forces that have stopped blocked and prevented this person from also coming forward and reconciling procrastination you guys and delay could be a negative thing because procrastination is not forward movement you're basically stuck you know what i mean you're stuck in in uh, one position so we'll find out why the devil is here in just a moment but this is just some of the finer details this person is obsessing over you um they cannot let go of you there's something in um their energy and it could also be too another reason why this person has not you know effectively moved forward just yet because some of you guys will be getting in receiving communication within the next either two hours or two days or two months or in the second hour of the day okay ace of wands there's one wand here okay and this can represent one week okay I don't know why I'm hearing this song in my head I just heard Michael Jackson's smooth criminal I don't know Scorpio it could be that maybe some of your partners out there maybe they're in jail right now or maybe they're just a smooth talker for some of them they could be they could be I think their intention <clears throat> is real I do feel it's real but they but this is about karmic patterns karmic cycles some of you guys were in karmic relationships or this person had karmic energies in and around them Scorpio and you could have also had some karmic energy that was in and around you too that was even blocking you from having a real relationship with this person so you know you can have family member Scorpio that you know could be sending you bad juju or sending you the evil eye your girlfriends your boyfriends you know the people that you hang out with the ones that think you think might be you know quote unquote your best friends are the ones that could be sending you the evil eye okay um, it's, it could be the same for this person because this is a beautiful energy the two of cups this is soulmate you guys this person is your soulmate you guys are meant to be together and somebody just cannot for the life of them let go of you how is this reconciliation going to come into play trusted ancestors okay very well yes intuitively but spirituality it could also be manifestation manifestation to reconcile with this person your person's first or last name could start with the letter b or the letter j for some of them okay using crystal clear intuition and some of you scorpios out there are a tarot reader or you have the gift you have the gift of psychic insight and this person knows for some of you guys that are tarot readers they know you're a tarot reader or they know that you read cards I'm picking this up very strongly okay um, this person is gonna go through a form of a spiritual awakening it could be awakening about their toxic behaviors or how it is that they have basically have treated you Scorpio okay why does Scorpio's person really truly want a brand new beginning here with them why is that why are they so compelled why are they compelled huh. because they must have went through some form of a breakup 
the reason why they want to have reconciliation, they were in a third party or this third party jilted them or they got the epiphany not to be with this third party situation. And at the same time, they know that they broke your heart. They thought the grass is greener on the other side. I feel, Scorpio, somebody here, I'm hearing the word claim. Somebody definitely <clears throat> is going to claim you. Because that energy, I'm, I'm obviously feeling through the two of cups. Okay. This person's ego is very driven. Now, for some of you guys in the past with your person, this is a very fine gray area. Some of you guys were dealing with a narcissist. And I don't like to use that term too loosely, but I am hearing it. Okay. If this person abused you, make you feel less important, I would highly recommend not to go back to that person. And I feel for some of you guys, that was a very small percentage of you guys, okay? On the other hand, this person's energy, they, they are latched onto you. And a lot of it has to do with the sexual energy between you and this person if you guys were indeed physically intimate, okay? So... What is the message from the high priestess, please? Yeah, see, they secretively want to reach out and communicate. They do. And I'm also hearing from spirit, too, that some of your, in the past, some of your, uh, the person that you love the most, they went back to a karmic relationship for some of them. For some of them. But secretively, they want to reach out and communicate. Why is the devil here in regards to Scorpio's person, trusted ancestors? How is the devil card coming into play with this energy? Yeah, they've been stubborn. And they're also, okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. They've been stubborn. They're in the King of Swords mode right now. And or they could be getting ready to cut out toxic things or toxic behaviors in order to have this breakthrough with you. Okay. Um this person might have also told you that they didn't want to be married. They don't, you know, believe in putting a label on it. All this bullcrap energy, okay? Um, somebody has made their mind up. And it's to have this beginning here. This ace of wands, even though it's about passion and desire and new creative projects, it also represents the male phallic, okay? It is dominating over this heartbreak, okay? And there's this lovey-dovey intuitional energy that is circulating right here between these three cards. What is the romantic message from Scorpio's person unto them, please? What do they want to say to Scorpio? You, you were there over the rainbow moment. Ten of Cups. They could be emerging out of their man cave or their woman cave within the next... It could, like I said, it could be... Two hours, two days, two months, ten hours, ten days, ten months, tenth month of the year. On the long grand scheme of things, it could be, you know, the second month of the year, which would be February. But, eh, to me that energy is a little hazy, okay? But there is Piscean energy, a lot of water. There's a lot of water energy going on here, okay? A lot of emotion, and some of you Scorpios probably felt like you had to hold back a lot of your feelings and emotions. Or, you know, even though some of you guys did tell your person that you loved them. And maybe your person told you that they loved you too, but they just weren't putting a lot of action behind the words. You know what I mean? Why is the King of Swords here? How is he coming into play? Okay, this person, Scorpio, could definitely be trying to find a way to spy in on you on social media. Okay? They've also had to maybe cut out a troublemaker. There could be a troublemaker in the mix. Family member, guy friend, girlfriend, whatever. Um, there could be an ex or somebody that could be obsessively, compulsively thinking about your specific person, Scorpio. So like third party situation. 
okay? But this person has been in observation of your energy, bottom line. And like I said, you know, some of you guys might have had to go rogue or silent on your specific person just because their attitude, their character, the, the behavior has been unacceptable. And, you know, when a Scorpio ignores somebody, I'm telling you, they other signs feel the burn. They will feel the burn of the Scorpio silence. It kills them on the inside, Scorpio. Just letting you know. Message from the Prince of Swords. What is the Prince of Swords here? The Queen of Pentacles. See, it's like they want to claim you. You know, it's like they, they almost feel like already that you are theirs. And they haven't, you know, showed a lot of feeling and or emotion. But I'm going to say this. If they keep doing that or keep pulling that type of bullcrap energy, they're going to get it in the you know what. Because they're going to find... They're going to find out really fast and really hard the Scorpio sting. We'll just put it that way because they can't, you know, your person cannot get away with some of the things that they have done. And, you know, honestly, you guys, silence is golden. If you've been ignoring your person or ignoring their text messages, do not be the chaser. That person needs to chase you. Bottom line. Do not try to go after them. Do not try to reach out to them. As much as you want to, as much as you want to put your two cents in, don't. As long as you know the truth, Scorpio, of how this person has behaved towards you, do not reward them for their bad behavior. Don't do that. <clears throat> this person has got some hardcore lessons to learn. You know, don't shower them with gifts. Don't try to reach out and say hi. You allow them to come to you. Why? Because whether you're a male or female Scorpio, you are the queen of pentacles or the king of pentacles. You are worthy of a relationship commitment. And it's not like this person cannot give it to you. But remember, this person has been under some negative forces and negative influences. And they just, you know can't get over you and they're obsessing over you and for some of them they kept your relationship a secret even though part of them wants to tell the world that you two are an item <clears throat> but it's like they're afraid they could be afraid of an ex they could be afraid of an ex-wife or an ex-husband you know um, people get into that mentality, and I'm not saying that's happening for all of you guys, but for some of you, yeah, that could be happening with your specific person. See, as long as you are on your A-game, Scorpio, the king and the queen of pentacles, they exude confidence like nobody's business. And the more you exude confidence, the more you show you're not clingy, you're not needy, and all that other bullcrap energy, this person is going to keep continuously being drawn unto you. And it's not just them. It's other people too. It is other people that will be drawn to your energy, not just your specific person. But this person has been spying in on you. They, they are obsessive compulsive about spying in on you. Uh, for some of you guys, if you guys indeed are, quote unquote, friends with this person, they're constantly looking at your activity of what you're doing. So whether it's Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, it don't matter. They're waiting for you to make your next post. What are you, what are you going to make? You know, I highly recommend, you know, if you, if you're constantly on social media, I suggest to hold back, hold back a bit. Don't post everything on social media. Okay. You need to make this person wonder as well what the hell you're up to. You need to create that mystery, Scorpio. The Ten of Cups is here. You're over the rainbow moment with this person is here. But there's some bad energy that needs to get the hell out of the way indefinitely. And you could do cord cuttings. You could do banishing work, you know, to help your person out. 
Queen of Pentacles. What does she want to say here? Some of you guys are dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, straight at Capricorn, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, and of course the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Message from the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, see, major judgment, freaking call. Now, it's crazy because in um, the first recording, the judgment card did come up. This person wants to revitalize the relationship with you. They're obsessive. They're obsessively thinking over this. And like I said, look at the angel. The angel's looking towards the direction of the devil to blow this devil energy out of the freaking way. You know, for two people, two people to have a beautiful, harmonious relationship with each other. Why is judgment here? What is the wake up call? Boom. Exactly. Ace of Cups, baby, at the end of the day, it is about true love. It is about real reconciliation. This person, they better prepare themselves. Even though they don't know what's coming, they got a major judgment call headed in their direction. It's karma, baby. It is karma time. A wake-up call. A wake-up call to this person dealing with mediocre people. Mediocre. Because, Scorpio, you're extraordinary. Okay, bottom line, you're extraordinary. And they're dealing with mediocre people, mediocre family members, people who don't have shit going on in their life. Okay, Debbie Downers. They're there, you guys. Don't be fooled. This person, they got a massive wake-up call because divine timing obviously has a timeline. Divine timing, when certain things are meant to be, come together, yeah. This reconciliation could be happening in one day, one hour, one month for some of you. Or in the number, uh, the first hour of the, of the day. Whether it's 1 p.m., possibly 1 a.m., it doesn't matter. A brand new beginning Somebody here is going to reconcile with you after there's been, as I would feel, turbulence, especially with this Three of Swords. Whatever the third party situation was, the heartbreak, the breakup, they made the worst choice, Scorpio, in their entire life. Just know that. They did. Because, Scorpio, listen... I know it's not, <clears throat> it's not an easy ride. Listen, I've been in the same boat with you guys, okay? It's not an easy ride. But that's the reason why we need to call in our trusted ancestors, trusted ancestor energy, because it is about raising up the dead, your dead ancestors, your trusted ones that care for you, that love you, that want to put you on the path of least resistance, Archangel Gabriel coming in to freaking blow the damn horn on this person to make them wake up <clears throat> because the divine has a timeline. Even though they're not physically, it's an energy timeline. It's not, well, it happens on this day and this day. That's earthly terms, okay? But when it manifests, it happens on a particular day, a particular hour of the day, etc. on the earthly time frame. But their energy timelines, it's like infinity, to infinity and beyond, okay? But they have set timelines on the other side when things are supposed to happen, what is supposed to happen in the universe. Two people coming together. Real love. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, claim it. Claim the energy, Scorpio. You are worthy. I want you guys to start telling yourself these affirmations. I am worthy of a healthy, loving relationship. I am worthy of a trustworthy, honorable partner. Claim it. 
get into it. Your subconscious mind has a lot to do with the energy that is circulating in and around you. And believe me, it, you guys, it's not the easiest task to try to reprogram your thoughts. But remember, we are influenced constantly, okay? We are influenced all the time. We're influenced during the day. We're influenced by our dreams, okay? So your free will picks up on the energy because if it's picking up on the energy and you're sensing it, you're feeling it, that means that, you know, there's really not a whole lot of blockages, but your person's free will, if they've been trapped or bound to toxicities and all of this, their free will has been struggling to say yes to you because you attracted them to you before in the first place. You guys attracted, you guys attracted one another together at the same time. Why? Divine timing. But this person has, is your specific person has been going through battles. They've been going through the dark night of the soul for some of them. And it's been a while. They're trying to get over past wounds, past, you know, some of you could be dealing with somebody who is divorced, you know, and, and that karmic partner put a, a stale energy in their mouth about marriage, you know. So cord cuttings have to be done. Energetically banished out blockbuster energy work. Not just for you, Scorpio, because you always got to bust out energies, you know, to keep your path, to keep your road smooth. And you can do it for your person. Okay, this person does care about you. They do love you. It's here. It's been circulating. It's been circulating in my readings for the last two weeks. Major wake-up call. It is about the Ace of Cups at the end of the day. Scorpio, listen. You are their wish fulfillment. Bottom line. They are obsessing over you. How to have a new beginning, how to reconcile with you. They know they effed up. They know it. They know it. Don't be fooled by, listen, don't be fooled by your person's antics. Because you, <clears throat> because you know better. Okay? You know better, Scorpio. You know that this person, for a lot of you guys... There was love. And underneath all of the cruddy energy is still love. Now it's time to bust through. Bust through the energies, basically. So, Scorpio, Cross Watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com. Until next time, Scorpio, take care.